Hi everyone, just type yes if you can hear me okay. Excellent, great. Great to see you all and welcome to our webinar and waking your innate manifestation ability. And been pretty excited to present this one today because for many of you I've shared that in our last time we presented this webinar and we ran a course, we saw some of our greatest testimonials and greatest results for people. So extremely pleased, extremely excited about this and looking forward to sharing with you today about how to take charge of your hologram. One of the things that's unique about the way we run this particular course and program is that we don't just focus on the spiritual and esoteric, but we will also be focusing a bit on some of the scientific and some of the other areas, some of the more logical among you. And even for those of you who are basically much feelers and sensors, you will find that the stuff that you learn around this area gives you far greater confidence in how effective and how powerful this is to actually bring instant and quite profound ongoing change in your life. So what we'll be doing today is really going into some of the crazy stuff. And the stuff that some would say is woo-woo, some would say is weird, but even scientists now and many others are now starting to agree this is true. So, and keep in mind that, like the Mad Hatter was told by Alice, that all the best and the most fun people are a bit crazy. There's an old saying, and in fact they've proven it with evolutionary psychologists, that generally um, girls, for example, are generally attracted to um, bad, bad guys, as they say, or guys who are a bit crazy or a little bit out there. And I've certainly found that the more out there I've got, when I remember when I was single, I would find this exact thing. And the truth is, the people who've changed the world are never people who follow what everybody else is doing, otherwise you just get the results of what everybody else is getting. So, what you'll be learning today in this webinar, so just some housekeeping announcements first, obviously, is really, it's going to go un until about, for about an hour and a half or so, starting from now, so it'll be finished by around about 10.45 Perth time, which is around about 9.45 in the evening New York time, or 1.45 if you're in the East Coast. So what you will learn today, and keeping your social media and your phones on silent to get full focus, because we will be doing a manifestation and a clearing at the end of this webinar. So you were learning how everything is energy and how you can transform energy to your personal and financial benefit without guilt. And this is one of the things that helped me in my own life in health and finance, once I actually realized that these laws and the masters and even the teachings and the way the universe was done was designed to really help us and bring benefit and bring results for us. And the masters and the higher beings that oversee this planet essentially desire us to be abundant and desire us to be in good health and financially in a good position. So we'll be looking today how you can transform your energy for your personal and financial benefit without guilt. How you can accurately read energy to get knowledge from your higher self for any business or investment situation. And something that some of you would know that we've been doing things like remote viewing for betting on sports games and even for trading. And they found in various experiments, for example, even remote viewing, that you can actually improve the accuracy in terms of the results you get on 50-50 probabilities in markets and sports betting and gold and investing by doing remote viewing and by doing psychic reading. So this has been tested by the US government and various groups and even various research studies. How negative experiences around business, investment, cash flow and money can fracture your energy field and really leave you with scars. And you all know what I mean and some of you have experienced healings already, some of you this will be quite new for you. But the point is, what you experience in your life does ultimately affect your consciousness and the way you see it. And the reality is, the longer you go on in life and experience these things, the more deeper these things go into you and the more important it becomes for you to be able to clear these things out of your consciousness and out of your hologram. So they don't keep playing out again like a basically a bad movie or a, a scratched record. So basically how to clear these out and change what you're manifesting for your life. Even paying high taxes, experiencing lawsuits or government issues can affect your energy and how they're very much part of your hologram 
and how you can change, get the different results in here. I can truthfully tell you that one of the things that got me the best results in my own work with tax planning for myself and for other and for my clients was basically doing this and working to actually help clients pay, cut their taxes and just by changing their hologram. And I would notice this. I, I, I have noticed over the years, it amazes me. I've had clients turn up to see me who've come from the beginning from day one saying they have no doubt that they can cut their taxes. It just needs someone to show them how. Invariably, we find a way. Equally, I have clients come to me who are convinced that, well, no, this is what the law says, I must do it. And even when you show them ways to do it, it's like they can't get their head around it. So paying high taxes and what you're experiencing in your in your world today and how you see the world very much shapes how it plays out for you. And even studies of the unconscious mind and how it works will show all this. And you'll be learning about that today. And the holographic science behind manifestation as well as the esoteric and how to develop the power to manifest anything you desire which truly aligns with your path. So that's the main things to be learning today. So what, we, what the webinar is about today is to awaken you to the missing link and how to take control of your hologram and create the belief systems that you truly desire and to clear out your, yourself out and start having completely new and different experiences um, with investments, with government and tax imprints to start creating new results. Because the amount of tax you're paying, the money that you're bringing in right now, even the job that you're doing or being stuck in the job it really is just part of a limiting belief pattern. And it's a little bit like a programming in a computer, which is just very much robotic. And there's even books like The Path of Least Resistance, which by, by Fritz, who basically explains about the psychology and science behind this and how once you move into a belief patterning, it becomes a path of least resistance, which means you keep on living out your hologram over and over again. So if your belief system, for example, says, I need to work with this, and if I don't stop working in this, I'll run out of money, well, guess what? You will keep recreating that hologram. And until you do something to break that hologram and shift and change what you're manifesting and change your choice patterning. So I'll be making an offer at the end of this webinar to those who stay on it to attend the course for the aim of achieving specific tangible monetary results. And I can truly say that I've had clients and mastermind members who've increased their income by anywhere from 50 to 500 percent, and even in rare cases, 1,000 percent plus. So we've had clients increase their income significantly as a result of doing this. Now, admittedly, I will say this: it is one of my observations that people who are generally already successful and who get involved in what we're doing, they tend to become more successful very quickly and apply this. Whereas people whose life is generally in a bit of a mess when they start it, I have seen some great um, stories and we've had clients of amazing shifts in their lives. But generally, it's interesting. It's people who are already not successful in their life, they tend to basically do something like this and keep making the same mistakes over again. Now, there's exceptions. The point to make is the biggest thing is that the people who have joined this program who've got struggles in your life right now financially or other stuff, the biggest thing that will actually bring change for you is to realize that this whole whole manifestation is about programming. It's about reprogramming yourself. And the truth is if you reprogram yourself, you can take yourself from being absolutely broke and being completely abundant. You can take yourself from someone who's regularly sick to being regularly healthy. I can tell you that by my absolute experience living this in my life from a guy who I explained in yesterday's webinar to my to, to the class that who when I was in my teens had such a low self-worth I could hardly talk to girls pretty much every girl I dated would reject me um, eventually I had sickness and uh, asthma and back problems and health problems pretty much for a lot of my life and then always just tend to have difficulties getting on my path around emotional stuff keeping friends all kinds of stuff I completely reinvented all of that stuff to the point I was able to leave my my job, which I was doing in the tax office, to move out of, a, out of law, to walk away from a law firm that was turning over huge money to step into my path and do that. 
Now, as you would all agree, doing that kind of stuff doesn't exactly come easy, and you've got to be pretty brave, pretty ballsy, and pretty certain. And I could truthfully say to you, if it wasn't for my ability to reprogram myself and connect to higher masters and the higher realms, I could never have done anything like that. But I literally reprogrammed my, my beliefs around health, to where I now live pretty much a very healthy life and my family around me. I've programmed myself to live in an abundant consciousness financially while moving away from law, whereas my true belief before was unless I stay a lawyer, I'll struggle. And I reprogram myself out of that. And the same, so I was able to leave a, a job that, or business that I was running that was making great money, but I was miserable. I wasn't really enjoying. Now I was able to get amazing relationships to the point that now I have an amazing partner um, who's basically exactly in alignment with my, with my dreams and everything that I would desire and I'm treated really well and in recent years of course rejection has been far from my hologram and a lot of that was completely reprogramming myself and reprogramming my realities. So even if you don't get this offer at the end of the webinar, I'm completely confident you'll get tremendous days for this webinar and you'll be very glad you've attended. So who this is for? So three main categories I find will get benefit from this. If you fall in these three, you're going to love this webinar. If you don't, you probably find it a waste of your time and no point in staying around. Number one is you're not making enough money, plain and simple. You feel you're out purpose, nothing seems to be working, you may even have attracted bad investment scams or in a business or job you hate. So if that's you, just type a one in the text chat. The second category is your small business owner and you are paying high taxes, you're attracting government issues, lawsuits and challenges, and you'd really just like to solve it. So the issue is not that you're not making money and that you're not basically reasonably doing okay with your life. You know, your health's not like you're terrible. But you just keep getting high taxes, government issues, you have health issues come up, all that kind of stuff. So if that's you, type in the two. And three, you are, you're very successful in your life, financially, health, but you really are desiring to evolve. In other words, you're keen to master your mind. You're like, you know what, I'm keen to go to the next level in my business. I'm keen to go to the next level. I'm keen to see abundant health as a regular part of my life. I'm keen to see great relationships and keep evolving and transforming it and transforming it around me. And if I don't evolve, I'll stagnate. So just type in which one you are. So if you're one, just type in. If you're two, type in or three. So just make sure you put one of them in if you're basically here or whatever. So, okay, so lots of ones, few threes, quite a few threes. And a few twos as well. Great. Just keep, if you haven't typed it in, just type it in here. Just looking to get a really good idea as to who's here. Okay, yes. Yeah. So generally, overall, there's a lot of ones. There's a three. Um, there's quite a few threes and a few twos. <laughs> yeah, uh, a couple of people said, can you be all three? Um, someone, yeah, look, the truth is, you can sometimes be a mixture across them. Like I know, for example, at one stage in my life, I was very, very, um, my finances were terrible. My health and emotions were really good. And then I had another stage in my life, my finances were really, really good. And my health wasn't so good. So you can basically do that. So that's great. So thanks, everyone. That's given me a bit of a good idea. So any of these three, you're going to really enjoy this today. And a great master, Master Raymond Grace, put it so beautifully when he said, everything is energy and all energy, of course, can be completely transformed. So, despite success, you feel like something is missing. You haven't learned how to take control of the manifestation process and desire to commit more to your higher self or intuition, use it to profit financially, you desire to clear money imprints, connect more of your life purpose or mission to enhance your results in business and make a difference and really improve your health and relationships. So if that's you and it really resonates with you, just type a yes. So it's really for someone who's keen to absolutely take control of your life. Um, I love what Christine Norby says. It sounds fantastic, Warren. Yeah, look, it is, Christine. This honestly changed my life. 
like massively, almost more than almost anything else when I learned this stuff. Yeah, so plenty of them. So this is the thing. You truly can take charge of your hologram and recreate your life to be what you really desire it to be. So this is the exciting thing about manifestation. You become the controller of your life. You connect with the higher masters and especially if you start to incarnate what's called the higher consciousness or the higher realms and even the higher Christ consciousness, you can literally start to manifest and create anything you want. I add that masters in India and great yogis have known this for years. Of course, the great master Jesus, Yeshua, the Christ, um, they say Buddha, um, Krishna, knew how to move in this kind of areas. Um, you've got... Um, You've also had many yogis in India to this day who've been tested, who had gone like Sri Baba, Sri Yuketswa, Lahiri Mahasaya. Many of these ones do these kind of miracles regularly. So they do all this stuff, but now but the exciting thing is that Western science is now starting to acknowledge the reality and the power of all of this. So Julie Woods puts, after clearing all the jazz seals, this should all now be able to be changed. So absolutely. No, look, it makes a huge difference, Julie. Like, I know when I cleared all my seals out, my J seals, my um, and did all this other imprint clearing myself, and then I learnt manifestation. It was it was phenomenal. I mean, I remember I actually did this training years and years ago, like about twenty five years ago. I did a heap of manifestation training, and for and it worked to a degree, but it wasn't until about three or four years ago I went through and I cleared all these seals and then started applying it, then I really started to see the results manifest a lot easier. So, this is a big problem. So negative money experiences, blockages around investments and just finding it hard to pick investments or being one of these people who miraculously just attracts the exact wrong investment at the wrong time and if any of you like that, just go, yep, in the text chat. Um, if you're just one of these people who just attracts this over and over again, like the wrong investments, the wrong time. It's like you've attracted scamming, like almost like it's almost like you've been a scamming magnet. And if you've been that kind of person, understand that literally it is entirely your energy because it's a bit like on a radio station. You can't turn to say 96.9 FM and expect to hear 98.1. You you can't. So if so, you cannot attract. So if you're attracting scams. The only, let's say you attract, say, five scams, then basically the only thing in common, the common denominator, is you. And I can remember years ago when I was in, when I was in, um, you know, absolutely, um, in a, 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 yeah, I remember years ago when I had three bad relationships in a row, it hit me one day, but the only common factor was me. And that was a big turning point for me. And I went through and did a lot of work to change my frequency. If you're attracting scams, scams financially, investments, having negative money experiences, same deal. The only common factor is you. If you've attracted health problems over and over again, the only common factor is you. If you keep attracting negative people around your consciousness who bag you and treat you really badly, the only common factor is you. So your frequency is allowing you to do that. And so this webinar will be going through to really show you the basics of how you can start to change that frequency and do something about that. So, tax audits as well. I find that people experiencing tax audits and government problems and speeding fines a lot. This always to do with your consciousness and what you're opening yourself up to attract. Now, do keep one thing in mind that with things like speeding fines and tax audits, these are very challenging to deal with only because you're also dealing with the mass consciousness. The mass consciousness believes in speeding fines, believes that, you know, well, they, 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 the, the, the media controls speeding fines. You know, the media actually control and, and support this and, and support the lie about road safety and it's all about helping the roads and, and it's not about taking money. So you've got this being drummed on you from the media, from social media, everything. Um, you often have family and people around you. So that's why these things can be a bit more challenging to clear, only because the mass consciousness is hitting you constantly. One thing that a master Raymond Grace once said, he said, you need, to, you need to be clearing your consciousness pretty regularly. A bit like cleaning your house. You need to be doing a regular clean out. So, yep. 
So it's very important to do that. So why should you listen to me? So what's my main background in all this kind of an area? So I've had, a lot, I've had all kinds of weird and wonderful experiences, like 10 years at the tax office working for the government, 20 years experience as a tax specialist in Australian international tax planning. And I might add, that includes me being a lawyer. I ran a law firm for many years. I ran a major one-stop shop planning group called the Intelligence Group, with, which was an accounting firm, financial planning investment firm. So I've had plenty of business experience. Right now, many of you know that I run Wealthsafe, which is a company that teaches people practically how to build wealth safely and how to keep their wealth safe. So it's a company that teaches people around sovereignty, around wealth, and how to become sovereign, minimize your taxes, and even how to, to basically educate people around wealth. And I've even done live events uh, overseas and internationally on cruise ships around wealth and around sovereignty and what to go into. So a bit of a unique experience. A lot of my background is more in that. Of course, my side interest has been the founder of The Awakening Within and City Awakening. Since I was basically 11 years old, I've been very interested on a spiritual path and had many profound experiences around this area ranging from when I was 18 and a real skeptic going to a church where there was a lot of great things happening and experiencing such a hit of power that I was on the ground and in a trance for quite a long period of time and came out of it completely a different guy. With much, I literally reinvented my whole energetic hologram. I actually ran a physical church for many years that was radically different to anything out there. We were teaching the higher level around finances and teaching people around the underground movement and into underground sovereignty and around the way that things really work in the world and how the offshore world works and the fact that under the common law that a lot of our legal system but the ATO and that kind of stuff and just doubts about the legality so I was involved in all that kind of stuff as well as being involved in the in that work at the moment of course we're on the awakening of inner city awakening which is this online movement which is basically designed to actually help people ascend and clear their holograms and energetically shift, especially around finances, but also in their physical and emotional health. It's actually quite fascinating because when we've done our, our research and our surveys on this, we found nearly 80% of people um, are desiring spiritual advice and, and manifestation teaching more around finances. Yet, ironically, most people from my experience, if I have a lot of money, but they're really sick or they're miserable and lonely, what's the one thing they'd say? They'd say, I'd give up everything just to find someone to find true love or give up everything to find, you know, to get my health back. So, hence, it's very important that when you're clearing and shifting energetic blocks that you're getting your health in order, your as well as your financial health. But, of course, ultimately, we focus on financial health because we know full well that, that money is so important and without money without basically financial abundance or financial flow in your life you're restricted from anything else for example if you don't if, if finances are not flowing in your life it doesn't just create disease around your money it'll create it around your physical health because you often don't buy the food you need to buy you don't get the regular checkups it's very interesting because I can tell you now that I get regular treatments pretty much regular weekly now or fortnightly I get chiropractic, high-level massage, and I just do it because very simply, actually, I'm in great health right now, and I plan to stay that way. Gary Player, who's 82 years of age, golfer in immaculate health, looks after himself, and he talks a lot about the power of his mind, what he, what he talks about himself, everything. So the, we do a lot in this online church or spiritual movement about teaching people about how to change their hologram, connect with higher masters, and certainly access the higher realm. We're very much into some of the newer research around this area. I had to alter consciousness. There's books like Changing Fire, which have come out, which have shown how many of the world's elite and wealthy and uh, do a lot of work around consciousness altering to learn how to tap into higher realms. It's becoming a common thing. Many celebrities have even come out now and openly said that when they've asked the secret of their success, that they've actually said, you know, we connect with, with higher consciousness beings, but of the dark, of dark forces, you know, like, what they call 
the satanic or other kind of things. And many, and it's coming out in the media now, and they're openly um, saying this. So it's very interesting that, regardless of all that, that masters and that, that people who are successful are realizing the importance of connecting to higher vibrational realms to basically get that. Now, obviously, if you start connecting to vibrational realms which are not so good and they're proven in this kind of stuff, and even in, for example, psychedelic research, which is around using drugs to alter consciousness and plant medicine, they found that people that when used correctly with the right intention, this is quite profound, they've done various research and testing. Michael Pollan is the main guy in How to Change Your Mind. They found that, that what's critical for good results in psychedelics is one, having the correct dosages, obviously, but two, also making sure that mentally someone's not completely unstable. And number three, making sure that the person's intention and environment is really good. So let's just say, for example, that the person takes a plant medicine and psychedelic under supervised um, situations and things like that, and they have a very clear intention, they know what they're doing. They, they all kinds of results have been cured from cancer through cannabis, for example, people getting cured of um, PTSD, like, Vietnam vets, high levels of anxiety, childhood stuff being healed pretty much instantly and very fast through the use of psychedelics. By contrast, using things like LSD, psychedelics and situations, like say in, in a rave party or a bunch of months of you for in some big wild orgy drinking alcohol can actually cause unalterable damage to your or very, very profound damage to your consciousness and even insanity. So it's very interesting about the altering consciousness and how using everything from accessing realms and in various ways as a changing fire research shows you can alter consciousness ranging from meditation to what we do we move people into all the state even the psychedelics to trans channeling that kind of stuff so the point is altering consciousness is critical even when i was in america um last year and i was with a crypto millionaire who's made millions he he told me he was in Vegas and he met a guy who's just making ridiculous amounts of money in record time. And the guy admitted to him, he said, yeah, he said, look, he said, I, he said, every couple of, he said, when I'm going to do some major downloads for my business, and he said, and, and, and for what to invest in, he said, I always do that. He goes, I go into deep states and I sometimes even use psychedelics to help me go into an altered state to accelerate it. And he said, but I certainly meditate. Richard Branson, Elon Musk, all admit they use this kind of stuff or manifestation science to do this. So understand that what I'm saying here is very, very profound. Something that I've had a lot to do with myself, both in years of being involved in high level, high frequency churches, which I used to go to, and they're a lot, most churches I don't have a lot of time for. I think they're just instruments of control and teach a whole lot of crap. But I was fortunate enough to find a few in my upbringing that actually taught me higher level stuff. I mean, since then, I've studied on the various masters across the world and yogis and gurus, as well as just learning this stuff and learning even about psychedelic medicine and everything. So it's been something that it's been a real passion and interest of mine in altering consciousness and really learning to manifest and tap into the higher vibrational realms that are accessible to. So this was me when I was in Utah, Salt Lake City. Um, when I was there about, um, not, not last year, but the year before I was there and went there and went to an event, had an amazing time over there. And that's the Grand America, Grand America one of the best hotels I've ever been to in Utah, Salt Lake City. If you've never been there, you, you just have to go. It's just the best place. Love Salt Lake City. Um, you've got... I've spoken on cruise ships that I mentioned. This is Richard Branson, and I've shared the stage with these guys here over at, at financial events. I've spoken at various um, events and financial events all over the world, and, and I was a regular speaker for these guys. We used to speak regularly on investments, on finances and tax. And one of the reasons they got me is because they used to say to me, they found me fascinating because well, I was the only guy they'd heard teaching on taxes, finances, investments, but I also would always bring consciousness stuff and mindset into it and about the importance of spiritual stuff and direction of the planet. So this got me a lot of speaking invitations over a number of years to speak at a lot of these places. And of course, I've also run my own sovereignty events as well as been asked to speak at sovereignty events across the world. So this is what um, Brett Davies, I worked for him, who founded the number one law database in, the, in, the, in Australia. 
the first one, in fact, that was actually founded, which still to this day is the number one, and set up numerous successful companies, and I worked for him for three years. So when I was a lawyer, and basically, yeah, told me about it at the end. He said, you're the best guy I've, I've trained, basically, and loved working with him. So these are my um, boys, and I'll be horrified. I This is a photo I didn't actually change this particular photo, but this is one of a few years ago in America. They're all older and bigger than that now. This is traveling around America and being in snow at Yellowstone Park, which was just the best experience. If you've never been to Yellowstone Park, that was just, you haven't been there, so much fun. Going to there, Colorado, going to the snow, it's just like the best, best time. So anyone been to Yellowstone Park here out of interest? This was in Salt Lake City as well. We went to a basketball game and had the time of our life there. And yeah, shoulders and all in have been there. Yeah, isn't it amazing? Oh gosh, the animals were just spectacular. Just like there were bisons on the road and we saw bears and mooses and everything. It was just it was just awesome just roaming around. So back to Sedona where I had the best experience one of the best experiences of my life over in Sedona. I um when I was over in Sedona, I basically was there in the, among the red rocks and it's, it's where there's actually a vortex. It's one of the few places on the planet where there's actually a vortex, which actually UFOs and aliens have been seen there and people have seen them. I saw UFOs there a few times. I saw one actually right near me. I certainly saw a few at night when I went with a lady who basically ran a, a tour who was allegedly abducted by aliens, very interesting lady, and she was actually showing us using special goggles, how to see the UFO portals, and it was quite sort of profound. And you could actually see them moving across and then suddenly ducking and zigzagging, you know, and that kind of stuff. So, some great experiences on this kind of esoteric. I've been into this one. I've got some comments coming through here about Julie Wood loving Salt Lake City. Nolan likes Bryce Canyon, Zion National Park. Yeah, I love Zion National Park. That was just like, Best place, Nolene. I really enjoy that one. I, I enjoyed Yellowstone more. So, I shared about my story as I've gone through, and just really, the whole point of my story is, if I just have to summarise that, is that I've had everything. I've even had what I've been told, I think, at least how many times? I had one profoundly severe illness from 1998 through to 2003, and the year leading up to that, I had chronic back pain um, problems. But then from 1998, it culminated into full-on RSI, chronic fatigue, depression, fibromyalgia, you name it. Um, I was in a chronic mess to the point where I was told my autonomic nervous system was shot and I wasn't going to recover. And I basically told them that I would recover. And I said that, and I even said to them, I said, I know that healing, that I'll be healed and I'm fully healed. I said, just that you're obviously not the guy who helped me, I told the doctor. And he laughed and actually said, that attitude, you will be healed. And I did. And it was a mixture of connecting to higher masters, my walk basically and trusting in Christ and higher masters. But really, ultimately, also just learning. I, I went away from the doctors and medical system and taught myself laws of health, laws of healing, learned a lot about shifting my way of thinking because I was a very negative person at the time. I used to, I grew up in a very negative household where my dad literally used to believe in Murphy's Law and the Max. And used to believe you should never talk about good things happening to you because then you get disappointed when it doesn't work out. That was his philosophy of life. Um, very negative kind of household overall, that kind of stuff. So, and growing up in that kind of world. I mean, I did have some good influences, don't get me wrong. But plus, it didn't help that by nature, I'm a very sensitive man. I, I feel things deeply. I tended to be a bit of an overthinker, like I'd overthink things. So... What tended to happen, of course, is that my father's way of thinking I tended to take on. So even though I had my uncle and others around me, like my rich dad, poor dad, which is a classic example of my life, because my uncle was a classic rich dad thinker. My father was a classic poor dad thinker, and I say this with great love for him, but he, of course, worked in a um, worked as a professor, terrified around money, and will openly admit that now. Um, openly will admit to everyone about that. And he's openly said, you know, he's, to be at this time again, he would very much change the way he approached life and thought about it. So anyway, I took all this on and really through the power of manifestation, I ended up learning how synchronicity worked. I started attracting the people I needed. I learned to start um, creating healing. I started speaking health over myself and I basically ended up 
meeting the right healers, going on detox diets, doing spiritual healing, even having some miracle releases where I one day couldn't type for more than half an hour. Next day, I was able to do five hours. I had a complete release in my in my nervous system and healed myself of arthritis, which I, which I had coming on a few years ago. Healed myself of a gallbladder when they told me they were going to take it out. All kinds of stuff. Healed by... Healed my, um, helped my son James heal of eczema, instantly healed my son Josiah, who basically had conjunctivitis and cleared his eye instantly, cured food poisoning, so lots of stuff. So I've been able to do that, miraculously manifest finances in situations where financially I was in a bit of a mess, and I financially was able to manifest instant money and instant abundance. And... Years ago, in fact, when I had no money in 2001, I completely ran out and I'd gone, I left my job. I decided that I didn't you know, want to work for anyone anymore. Started the business, was finding it hard to get up and running, ran out of money and ended up going into long periods of meditation, prayer and tapping into higher realms, walking around carrying cards of affirmation, claiming that abundance and wealth was mine and that I knew it. And I was even using Bible passages around where it says that the abundance of the sea will come to you and the wealth is pouring into your hands. So I kept on quoting this over and over again and living it in my life and talking about it and basically attracted a miraculous release. So many of you have heard this story that I, I was with a guy who was a, a psychic or prophet friend of mine. He taught me a bit about manifestation. He told me we were going to have a goose that lays golden eggs. That's what he was told. A week later, we saw an investment online and it was called Oz Ops. And the slogan was the goose that lays the golden egg. So as soon as we saw that, we instantly um, went into, um, basically instantly went to investment for all my money into it. And I made enough money to last me for two years and was focused on my health, which was terrible at the time, get myself better and learn in the underground movement. And that's when I joined the underground sovereignty movement. So... There's no doubt about this manifestation realm is real. Scientists, even books like Michael um, Talbot's Holographic Universe are now starting to say about UFOs, um, higher realms, and, and acknowledging more and more the reality of this. More and more articles are being released, as you can see, and even the government are starting to acknowledge now and come out and say there's, there's evidence of, of remote civilizations and, and aliens talking. So there's all kinds of stuff, but ultimately a lot of it is our hologram and our belief systems and what we create. I love what Michelle Parker said here. She said, look up to the sky and said, I'm not expecting to see UFOs, but she saw them very clearly. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? I was a bit the same, Michelle. I couldn't believe it when I saw it myself, even though I went there open-minded and desiring to. So now let's talk a little bit about manifestation. So... The thing to realize that everything is energy, time and space is not linear but quantum, our life is a hologram of what we create. So everything from our own belief systems to what we see and the mass consciousness creates our holograms for us. And books like Joseph Murphy's The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, Sigmund Freud, they found your subconscious mind and your conscious mind work together. And in, in real reality, your life is a movie playing out before you and the projector that's playing out the screen is in your mind. So your imprints, in fact, a great teacher of consciousness once taught me, he said, you meet someone who keeps having dramas and disasters happening in their life, he goes, all that's happening is they've got so many layers upon layers in their unconscious that have built up over a long period of time that they just keep on manifesting and they're no longer aware anymore of what they're manifesting. In other words, you may have a belief that says, yeah, look, I'm you know, this is going to work for me, this investment, but then there's one layer below that something happened, one layer below that. Then eight layers below that, there's a layer that says, well, whenever I go into anything, it never works anyway because something that was said to you when you were eight years old by your father, for example, or things that you took on as belief systems. So realize that most people are walking around heavily living from their unconscious realm and not living. And the truth is many people's lives are so full of crap they just keep concluding, I can't possibly be me creating all this. It has to be stuff outside of me and has to basically be stuff beyond my control. And that's just and things that must have to be random. Well, scientists and and now as are now starting to agree with the yogis that basically there is a quantum realm and this quantum realm comes before our physical consciousness. There's a book written by a guy called Wallace Wattles called The Science of Getting Rich, and the whole book is an expose 
of how the unconscious works and how literally that you can create wealth and financial and emotional and health wealth just by what you're speaking and by what you're thinking and by what you're starting to program into yourself because eventually it says that the, that the formless that's in the unconscious realm must come into the physical realm through repetition. Understand that the shift that's in your life right now has come about because you practice manifestation in reverse. For example, if you keep on drumming into your consciousness or your parents keep drumming into it or you keep thinking thoughts like, you know, these things never work out for me or whenever I enter into a relationship I get hurt or, yeah, once you, like, basically, yeah, well, once I've got a flu coming on, yeah, it'll take five days to get over it. Or, well, now I've got this illness, so I can never get better because the doctor told me. Well, you drum it into yourself enough, well, you just manifested that. We've actually, we've been as here in our family now because my kids are so aware of this teaching now. Like, they will often call, up, call us up on that. And, like, you know, even the other day, I was driving one of the little rascals, um, I said, gosh, the traffic's just bad. It's always bad this time. And he goes, nice hologram, Dad. And, of course, I just said, you little, little rascal. And I laughed because what can you say? I said, well, you're right. Because he knew for a while in Vegas in 2016, after learning this manifestation, I asked the teacher and I said to him, so I said, this means I can actually create anything I desire, including changing traffic. He goes, yeah, I do it all the time. So I said, okay. So I can remember driving in... When I was the next day, I was driving, we were driving somewhere, and we did that. We used that hologram to clear the traffic, and before our eyes, the traffic just cleared, just miraculously. And I was like, shit, it just cleared. We did the same thing when we were going somewhere, and there was a huge queue because of roadworks. So we went through it. Next time we were going through that same queue, when we're 10 minutes away, I said, we're creating a manifestation that will go right through it smoothly. And no kidding, we got there, and the exact moment we got there, the last of the cars was going through it and then we came in and let us through before they closed it. And then we had things happen like the Wynn Hotel, which anyone who's ever been to Vegas knows that the Wynn Hotel is crazy in terms of breakfast. Um, you can wait 45 minutes for a queue to an hour consistently all the time. And this happened to us the first day we waited for ages. So we went away and this time we came back and we created a hologram that the queue would be five minutes long. And exactly five minutes took us to get through the queue and we're in. Next day, we put a hologram that it had been no queue. As we were walking up to the breakfast, we saw a small queue. By the time we got to the queue, the last person was being served and we walked in. And we saw too much of this happen. So you literally can program and take the charge of your life. We do it with parking spots all the time. And even with these roadway things, like I'm saying, like we got it and, and the cars were going through when we get there. And we do this in our health now. Like the other day, one of my kids said, oh, God, I'm getting really sick. And I said, well, if you keep speaking like that, you certainly will be. And straight away, they got what I was saying. So they immediately started saying, well, thank you, basically, thank you to Christ um, that I'm being healed. And the truth, you know, the truth is, they said, thank you to Christ that I'm healed. And then they started saying, and I know, and they started talking about the fact they were healthy. That was, by the way, how I first learned to deal with flus. I just used to start, when I feel one coming on, I would just say, well, I know that I can feel a bit of a flu coming on. That's just telling me that I'm not feeling the best right now. That's just telling me that I'm a bit tired. I need to go and rest for a little bit. I'm going to cancel some appointments and I'll wake up in three hours and be as right as rain. And I need more water. So I started programming myself that whenever that was coming on, that it wasn't actually sickness. It was just basically me um, telling my body uh, it was just my body let, or my higher self letting me know that I need to take a break. And I literally programmed myself out of getting flus or colds, completely programmed myself out of it. So your mind is like a radio transmitter tuning into the radio stations. So just like scientists can get electricity, radio waves, we can bring it into the physical by the way we project our reality and our thinking. Who's enjoying this, by the way, so far? Who's really getting... Seeing who's like a bit like wow, blown away a bit, getting some great stuff. Excellent, yeah, Christine, Linda, Rochelle, Jennifer, yeah, look, absolutely. And you can change your reality, and especially if you take this on board and you live it in your life. So we're manifesting every minute, every hour, every day by our thoughts and choices. Indeed, it's said that your present state of life is the sum of your last 1,000 thoughts or choices. So, the power of the spoken word. 
In fact, as Master Raymond Grace says, your mouth speaks and your body listens and takes action. So the mouth speaks and the body listens. And here's what you're saying. So your present state of life is what you've been thinking. So if right now, financially, you're not in a great state, health-wise, you're not in a great state, I can pretty much tell you what you've been thinking and what you've been speaking and how you're living your life. And we can tell this to people pretty quickly. I meet people, I see where their life's at, and it's pretty obvious. I find the way people talk to me. I even used to find with clients, with tax, for example, and they come to me and I see certain things in their finances. I almost knew straight away how they lived their life, what their relationships with life, how they spoke about money. So there's, there's a lot of these patternings that come in. So your subconscious and conscious mind work as a team and it's like a film or movie screen which in turn is affected by deeper layers of the mind. So examples. You know, my kids have no desire to go to university. They all desire to have their own businesses and, and live their own path. So, but if they listened to their parents, to their grandparents and others around them, they would have done that. They would have been going to university. My kids are homeschooled. And we got a lot of flack for that in our family. But now, of course, the best thing they ever did as many of you know, we've got 15 year olds, I just turned 15, James and Edward, running the Awakening of Inner City Awakening. We've got um, William who's 17 who regularly does webinars. So they're all doing this. He regularly now, he's doing that kind of stuff. He, he ran his own business at Busco at one stage. So ask yourself, sure. And I, I told my kids, if you, ever, if you decide to be a lawyer or accountant, for example, then you would go to university, but is that what you desire? So, Ask yourself these questions because this will determine how your kids are. What have you told your children growing up? Have you put fear into them? Have you put rules on them or have you told them they can be whoever they, they desire to be? Have you told them they can be whoever they dream to be? Have you told them to expect to be abundant and wealthy in their life? Have you told them to expect to be healthy? Have you told yourself these things? What did your parents tell you about money, about government, about authority? What do you believe about government? How do you react when you get a notice? If you got a tax no, do you panic? Do you get scared? Do you assume that, oh my gosh, now I might go to jail? Do you assume in your tax assessment notice that now you have to pay it? Do you assume, for example, that once you can't pay a mortgage payment, you'll lose your house straight away? All these things are coming from your belief systems. And many of these belief systems I'm saying to you, I have literally, and sometimes just to prove a point, I've done things around tax bills. I've done things around this kind of stuff. I've got rid of government regulation audits, investigations that seemed impossible to get rid of, all because I changed my, my hologram was when I was being audited by the tax office, well, this is great. Um, everything's going to be smooth and everything's going to be fine and there's nothing they can do to me anyway. And even though they found mistakes, they did nothing. What restrictions do you impose upon yourself, for example? What do you believe around taxes? If you believe that you're living in a high tax country and you must pay it, well, that's, that's the reality you'll have. What about lawsuits, speeding fines? I, I, well, I, well, one of the things that smashed my own hologram about taxes was when I went to Philippines and I was asking my staff over there, how much tax do you pay? They said, none. I said, really, is it tax free? They said, no, but none of us pay it. <laughs> and I just burst out laughing. I said, seriously, no, because none of us pay it. They said, why should we have to pay it? They said, we don't, you know, this is not fair, they take it from us. The, 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 the governments, can, the corporations can pay it. So I laughed when I heard that one, and I'm sure many of you were like, would love that. So lawsuits, speeding fines, parking fines, government fines, all this kind of stuff. I've caused speeding fines to disappear through manifestations, and I can honestly tell you, in 2016, I was pulled over, and I, I was out of demerit points at the time, and I just started to master learned this is actually sorry 2015 so i've been learning all this and what i actually started to do was to was as the policeman pulled me over and he went away to go and check because i'd run a red light according to him i i, I basically did a, a manifestation ritual where i energetically imagined the police computer i saw it erased and i saw myself basically having a completely clean record and everything fine and no, even I was amazed at what happened next. The policeman came to me and he says to me, I've just checked your record, it's completely clean, 
So I'm going to let you off today. Um, just, just basically be more careful in future. And he walked away. Now, keep in mind, I had all kinds of records and speeding fines, mainly because I'd gone through a period of my life where I'd taken on the government and been on a crusade against um, speeding fines for this to run a big law reform movement. And that was all done through manifestation. I was able to do that. So, contrast Australia from, say, Lebanon, where when they bought speeding cameras in Lebanon, the citizens stole them, and in some cases smashed them, in other cases they took the speeding cameras, and they even sold them back to the government. And I learned this actually from a friend of mine. Japan, they just drove over them and smashed them. Parts of America, they did the same thing. South Island in New Zealand, they just refused to, they did the same thing. So most countries that have bought in speeding cameras have either run them over or just stolen them. And they've given up on them. So fascinating, isn't it? Whereas Australia, we just completely accepted it. US have fought against having their guns taken off them. Australia, they made up some hodgepodge called Port Arthur, which has got so many holes in what happened there. And I'm not, not the purpose to go into this one, but for example, John Howard even suppressed the evidence for 30 years. I don't know if anyone knows that, but for 30 years, you can go back to the record. He suppressed all evidence about what happened there. He put a seal on it and he shut down the inquest. So if there wasn't something weird that went on about that, then, well, yes. Let's just say that was used to take away guns, but no one complained, no one questioned it and all the guns were taken off Australian. So these are all things around belief systems. What about around money? Do you believe they'll work for you? I, I met a client who was super wealthy, brilliant forex trader, brilliant investor. This guy used to actually tell things to me. Like, I remember asking him about it. He said, well, he said, yeah, I've always had things work out for me around money. He goes, even when I've stuffed up, I just know it's gonna work out. And I thought, there's a secret. That was his words to me, he goes, even when I stuff up and I'm running blind, he said, in my forex trading, when I was running blind, I still always thought, yeah, it'll all work out, I'll make this work. So the belief system makes all the difference. And manifestation, even insurance and things like that. What's your current reality view in your family, your health, that of kids, and realize that whatever's going on in your life right now with your money, your health, a lot of it's to do with your belief system. Now, keep in mind there's various factors that can influence belief systems, which, of course, some of you have done our other trainings around energy work and all that kind of stuff. But understand that what you're believing and speaking about yourself makes a huge difference as to what you'll manifest in your reality. These are laws that work regardless in your life. That's why someone can be completely working evil or working dark or doing horrible things to the planet, but they understand these principles. They understand these laws and they understand how they work. Because the truth is these laws of manifestation will work whether you're karmically in alignment or whether you're not. If you're a really kind person or you're a horrible person. You can be a nasty, wicked, even Satanist and can be abundantly wealthy, abundantly prosperous because you apply all of these principles in your life um, without resistance. So just understand these principles do actually work. So science behind manifestation, it's really important to realize that science backs this up as well, as I've mentioned already. So standard theories of the brain fail to explain neurophysiological puzzles. The universe is a giant hologram, scientists now say. There is a quantum realm. Because basically this, because the, the prevailing scientific belief before was that matter was all that mattered. So in other words, the physical realm or physical material consciousness was what mattered and that ultimately affected your state of mind. So Einstein used to teach that everything is about matter, the physical realm and how you think ultimately is determined by what you're seeing around you. Mind you, it was the opposite to what masters like Buddha, Krishna, yogis and what Christ said because all of these masters all said the same thing. They all basically said that if you believe something and don't doubt in your heart, you will have it. They all taught that first your consciousness is what determines things, your way of belief system, and that will determine what's in your physical reality. So first, it starts in the unconscious or spiritual realm, which then comes into the physical realm. And scientists like Carl Pribham of Stanford University, and in all honesty, now of course in this manifestation, we specifically, in our 
course that we offer at the end, we actually do a couple of science classes, which always blows people's brains in pieces, but afterwards they're excited about it because they realize what the scientific discoveries and what's going on and how, or how much this really does work, not just spiritually. And many people that we found who've been attempting to use this stuff for years with getting some results have exponential shifts. And that's why we were getting testimonials in our last class where people were getting miracle healings happening. People were having debts disappear. Like I had one, one lady literally um, had a hundred grand debt to the bank and the next, and after she did a manifestation and used these principles, two days later she rang the bank and they told her they got rid of her debt. It was gone. We had another guy who hadn't been able to get a job for ages. The next day after he did the manifestation, he had a job. We, even I was so excited about that at the time and blown away how many we were getting. We were getting people, a lady with a low back issue get instantly healed um, in that. Like from a car crash, we had, um, we had, another, we had a, quite a few people actually end up with jobs out of that one. We had people having financial miracles, like someone who'd never got a lot of money manifested five grand. I even had a guy who learned, and by the way, he learned from the same teacher I did, but a friend of mine who comes to some of these classes, um, a brilliant psychic himself and spiritual teacher, a guy called Greg Joseph. But Greg actually, um, he, he'd never made more than two or three grand in his life, you know, in say one hit. And he did a manifestation for $30,000 and he actually did it wrongly. He didn't quite follow what he was taught, but his intention was very clear. And within the next month, he manifested $30,000. Now keep in mind, this was a guy who'd never manifested more than $3,000 in his life before. So believe you me, this is exciting stuff. It works. And last course, let's just say that people more than paid back the cost of the course just by what they were manifesting financially as well as the health results. I had a guy who had all kinds of problems in his business. He was prospering, but he had the tax office after him and everyone. And he shifted the whole thing energetically that by the time the course ended, he was giving me the most glowing testimonial, you know, about everything. And he, he I'll be showing him here, but yeah, he literally said that everything has changed his state of mind. He had come to a peace in his mind. He knew how to resolve things at the tax office. We worked it all out and was moving his business forward in leaps and bounds. So Carl Pribham, Another one who Einstein used to speak to, Niels Bohr. Um, Vina, who's on here, Vina White, she actually works for me and some of you may have encountered her. She works with me. She's absolutely brilliant, like in tax and asset protection and that in wealth safe with me. But Vina will tell you openly how this has done things like helped her invest in the cryptocurrency market and actually invest in that. So she's on it now. So. I might even get you being on the testimonials to share yourself the story of what happened. Um, when we do that part, we'll get you to do it, things you hear. But how you use it with cryptocurrencies to manifest things and manifest results in your life. So, Neil, Amit Goswani, an Oxford University physicist, wrote a number of books and concluded that pretty much the quantum realm was what drives everything. Some of you may have heard Dr. Joe Dispenza. He's a guy right now who runs workshops around this quantum realm. I've got, I've got a friend who runs a number of very successful businesses and she tells me straight out, she swears by this. She said it was Joe Dispenza's um, stuff, teaching her to access the higher consciousness and the quantum realms and the quantum masters that got her business where she now is financially free running a series of successful companies. So if businesses realize this, um, that there's many mysteries are explained by holographic science and quantum physics. E.g. recognizing a face not seen for years, a person with one arm has a second arm working better. In other words, when you lose an arm, the consciousness and the energy of that other arm goes into the second arm. They've even found that when you cut out parts of the brain, the functions miraculously appear at other parts. So, and some of you in science may have even heard of Schrodinger's cat. So some of the things they found in quantum physics is every part of the brain is connected in the whole. So as an example, Privam discovered every small fragment of a piece of holographic film contains all the information recorded in the whole. Concluded that the brain worked the same. Concluded memories weren't localized in specific brain states but were distributed throughout the brain as a whole. So 
what that meant for, for, for Prevam was that what he was finding was that let's just say that the brain lost your visual cortex or you got brain damage in part of your brain. They were actually discovering that some people were actually getting those functions in their brain appearing out of parts of the brain. But even the experiments on fish where they were cutting out parts of the brain and they were, or, they were change, or they were taking the brain of the fish out and then they were putting it back in, but um, in a different place than before, and they found that, the, that literally holographically, the brain would function holographically. Master Raymond Grace talks about how he's actually programmed people into believing energetically they have a thyroid in them when they've lost their thyroid, have it taken out. And people's bodies start behaving like they have a thyroid. So in other words, these things are holographic. So people with brain damage have literally re have re got back all the functions of their brain, even though um, parts of their brain were damaged and could no longer work. They've cured Parkinson's and schizophrenic and, and, and basically things like that, just literally by doing this kind of stuff and teaching people to rewire their brain to, to get, to realize that their brain is holographic and that all those functions that appear to be gone, the only reason why they're basically not working is because the people believe they're not working. And there's a book called Brain Science and Brain Healing by Norman Deutsch, where he's actually a doctor who went through all of this kind of stuff and talked about one doctor who literally fixed himself up for multiple sclerosis just by understanding this holographic theory. So understanding how powerful this actually is. So holographic theory explains lasers as well and how it works. It explains how when you cut a holographic film in half, with an apple of it in half, each half still contains the entire image. Scientists have even discovered that, if you, that, that when you look at the nucleus of an atom, it contains the whole universe. They've actually found that every atom actually contains the whole universe, which I'm sure you would agree is profound, absolutely profound, exciting, and absolutely amazing. So, Matter precedes consciousness. So this is the other thing which I've already mentioned, but so important to understand, but matter precedes consciousness. And if holographic was true, then coffee cups, trees, table lamps might not exist or even exist in the way we believe them to exist. It's all an illusion that the mystics are right. This is what he concluded. So, Paul Peach of Indiana University was determined to prove him wrong. So he actually did this with fish. They cut out, they got a brain and kept cutting out the, the brain and putting it back in. Because the theory was if a salamander's feeding behavior was localized in the brain, the position of the brain in the hip was critical. It didn't matter where it was, where it was positioned, this would prove holographic theory. What, what Peach was finding was they'd go into a stupor, but once the brain was put back, the behavior would turn to normal. He even put the brain in upside down. It too fed normally. He did 700 operations, but in each one, same results. Needless to say, Peach became an ardent supporter of holographic theory. So particles can become waves. So Electrons, light, radio waves can manifest as either a particle or wave when shooting an electron on a TV screen turned off, a tiny point of light appeared, or it can dissolve into energy and it can become a wave. So it can change from particles to waves and back again. This means you can't classify solely as waves or particles, but as something called quanta from which the universe is made. It's how Jesus turned water into wine and how yogis in India like Sri Baba create miracles. In other words, what they found, and David Wilcock in his book The Synchronicity Key in the Source Field discovered that basically even when you look at a wall, and in physics you'd have learnt this, when you go look at it close enough, it's actually liquid or it's actually gaseous, it's not. In other words, that, for example, like even a TV, that's what happens. The waves are shot at the TV, which comes in a wave form, and then it turns into particle and turns into matter. So in other words, what's energy becomes matter. 
that's how TVs work. It turns energy into matter. It's how radios work. It turns energy into matter. It's how um, electricity, internet works. So basically miracles work the same way. They're just taking energy and they're turning it into the physical. That's how Jesus could turn water into wine. It's how the, probably the best miracle I've done like that is I was able to take water, which I learned with Raymond Grace, that was literally um, chlorinated and turn it into pure filtered water. And I actually, after one of his workshops and after practicing it for ages, and I must admit, I got a bit out of practice because you've got to keep practicing with this. But when I was really in practice, I was doing this as a party trick. And I would actually go to events and I would do that to people. I even used it to pick up girls at one stage. <laughs> so the thing is, this stuff, the only time quanta ever manifests as particles is when we are looking at them, i.e. Um, they don't exist until we focus on them. Who's finding this stuff exciting and really fascinating, by the way? Who's really getting a lot out of this? It's great, isn't it? It's, it? This stuff, by the way, for those of you here who desire to manifest more or be healers or change your finances or health, you will start to see how it's not just the spiritual, but the physical and the energetic and the scientific world that work. One of the things I can remember, what's interesting is the background behind this manifestation course, the reason I originally did this course was I was finding that all my clients who are like women or men who are very sensitive and very connected with their feminine energy side, would get amazing results in their, um, in their health. I find though that the very masculine men or women who are logical thinkers and overthinkers would often not get anywhere near as good results or will get no results at all. And my conclusion was that I realized that what was happening was that these people needed to see stuff other than, than go by trust, by faith and by the spiritual realm. So I started doing this and I found many of my clients who are very logical thinkers who for years had almost given up on attending these kind of seminars were excitedly messaging me saying, oh my gosh, I felt connection for the first time or they experienced miracles or manifestation or releases or healing. So it really makes a difference. Michael Torbert's Holographic Universe book concluded we create our reality and he basically said that we, that basically he gave the example of a man and it was all, it was actually written in the papers in England. It was actually a big story in a medical journal about a guy who cured himself from a brain tumour because he went and took a special drug that the doctor told him would actually cure brain tumours. And then what happened was that he was completely cured of it. Then about six weeks after that, he read an article that that drug had actually failed his first round of testing and his brain tumour came back two days later. So he went back to the doctor. The doctor actually realised what had happened and it was placebo. And he told the guy, oh, no, there's actually a new um, drug that's come out that's even better still. Uh, that, that first drug did fail, and he gave him, a, um, gave him a syringe of water. That's all it was. The guy took the syringe of water, and his brain tumor went away. Then about five weeks later, he read in the journal that, that the final test had failed once and for all. So then he lost hope. He thought his doctor was a liar, and he died for, um, a few weeks out of a brain tumor, which came back. So... Very interesting, I'm sure you would agree. So, in the Talent Quest, a book, a brilliant book, by the way, they talk about a control group of people. What they did was they did an experiment. They got one group of people who mentally practiced piano for 30 minutes every day. But in other words, they didn't actually get on the piano physically, they just did it in their mind. Another group practiced physically on the actual piano for 30 minutes every day. Another group just sat there all day and stared at the piano and did nothing for 30 minutes. The, the group who stayed and did nothing, of course, got no improvement. They found there was a 24% improvement after 30 days in the um, group who practiced physically and a 23% improvement in those who practiced mentally. In other words, those who mentally did it got pretty much the same results as those who did it physically. They also found with um, Magic Johnson and one of the great basketballers actually openly told about the fact that's how he got himself to shooting accurately Mental practice. I do this myself, mental practice, mentally practice webinars. Sometimes I do that. So the whole point is mental rehearsal, mental practice. So he concluded with the full power to alter reality of our thoughts and how we perceive things. 
but even found in the synchronicity key they did an experiment where they got the um where they actually got a group of plants and what they did was they put the group of plants in a room and they did and they basically got a group of psychics basically not not even in the same room in another room and at first they got these six psychics to imagine playing beautiful music to these plants and giving love to these plants and nurturing these plants they measured the vibrations of the plants the plants were flourishing they were looking greener looking richer they then got the same psychics on the next day to imagine setting the plants on fire and hacking them up with an axe and literally the plants went insane they're like with fright all their vibrations went crazy in the experiments so things are very very deeply profoundly connected and, and and when it comes to this so conclusions classic and even einstein towards the end of his life is starting to admit this after arguing for years against quantum physics classic physics is questionable we're all interconnected with one another and by the way the, when you study consciousness teaching you will discover that we that one of the highest levels of consciousness is to realize we actually are all interconnected with one another even our lives our past lives our lifetimes our ancestors we're actually connected with all of these ancient hebrew cultures knew this they knew that they were connected to all their ancestors and even the memories of our ancestors are actually in our hologram many experiments of people have actually had memories that they found to be their ancestors space and time don't actually exist that's another conclusion that they discovered in other words it's not linear you can past present future are all simultaneous the fact that you're sitting in another um room from me on the computer far away and you're still feeling the effects of it and getting healings shows that to be the case things or objects aren't localized but are spread through the parts in other words we're all connected to one another that's why especially when you have a partner um the consciousness of your partner or people around you will determine your state of being if you if you're five closest people are financially broke people or negative people i'll guarantee you that will be you so i know for example with my with my partner with sammy you know she's wonderful but you know every now and again when in the early stages she would get very negative about money because that's how she was brought up so i used to say to her i'm not interested in you bringing your hologram into my reality that's what i would say to her and then straight and she's great she straight away goes oh look please help me how do i get how do i change this so literally she's gone from someone who regularly would talk about being in jobs she didn't hate and financially and a year ago she's in a job she hated to where she's now doing work she enjoys she's in her path and she's loving life and money's coming to her much easier and that's all happening to her because she's basically done that yeah christine lorby's laughing yeah look absolutely i'm sure you'd love it if you had a partner who thought like you christine you know um strong women generally like it when a guy is honest just like um I, I'm the same with her. She she bosses me around with my skincare and with my health, and I love it. And you know, I grew up with a mum who really nagged me, so I never used to let women do anything to move me. And I eventually realised that was my hologram. But because I'd had a mum who nagged me so um, severely, I created this belief system that all women are naggers and shouldn't be allowed to do that. And I realised that was part of the reason I was attracting the wrong kind of women. So once I cleared that hologram, I started to see it differently. I started attracting women who were supportive of me and of course now i don't see it as nagging when sammy goes to me about my skincare i actually appreciate her and i said oh thank you because like even last night she goes to me have you put your face cream on yet and she goes don't get in the bed until you have and i just laughed because i've actually told her to do that to me so it's got me into the habit now and that's why my skin right now is just the best it's been for years so you can change your whole hologram and shift it so you can do all the right things, have the right structure, best accountant or lawyer, and the best due diligence on investments, have the best business model, and it still attracts bad investment losses, horrible tax orders, government problems, or serious losses. Everything is a hologram and illusion, meaning everything that's happening, the tax you're paying, the money you're making, what's going on in your business, is directly impacted by your own beliefs and the collective consciousness around you. So you have to change your belief system and then start to find ways to combat the collective hologram consciousness around you. So unless you are actively combating the mass mind with, with um, clearings and manifestation protocols, guess what? You will get the collective manifestations around investment, business and tax. So if you believe that the more money you make, the more tax you pay, guess what? That will be your reality. I can assure you Google won't believe that. 
I can assure you that most of the super wealthy don't believe that at all. Quite the contrary. In fact, in, all, in fact, I can tell you as a guy who does offshore, who's done a lot of um, tax planning for clients, the more money you make, the less tax you pay. And the reason why is if, let's say if you're making $2 million a year, would you think twice about spending, say, $100,000 to structure yourself, set yourself up with all the contracts, documents, to pay only 5% tax? The answer is, yeah, no problem. If you're only making 200000 a year, would you spend 100000 No, you wouldn't. You'd be cutting corners. And in all likelihood, you'd probably be cutting corners and going for some tax planning scheme that's cheaper. And guess what? Who's the ones who get in the trouble for tax avoidance? It's those kind of people because they've cut corners. Can you see how the hologram actually works? I'm sure you can. So who's now starting to see how much your hologram and your belief system is affecting you? Who's already had their mindset blown out of the water by realizing that the more money you make, less tax you pay? Isn't it great? Many, many people are like, oh, I don't want to work more because I'll pay more tax. Well, it's actually the opposite. The more money you make, the only thing that causes you to pay more tax is your belief system. And yeah, sure, if you choose to stay in a job working for someone else where they take the tax out for you and you've got no choice, their hologram overrides your hologram. There's not much you can do there. You have to actually move yourself out of that. So... Ultimately, you will keep attracting back to the same hologram. Even the book called The Path of Least Resistance by Fritz shows that scientifically and psychologically that's how it works. You will go back to it. It's why women who've been in abusive relationships keep going back to them until they actually learn to shift their hologram and they learn to actually change their thinking and their thought pattern. So, you know, I've met... I, I, I meet so many women who are evolved and great teachers and yet keep getting themselves into these bizarre relationships and going back to them. And that's just one of the reasons why, because they haven't really cleared themselves and fully done this stuff and, and, and cleared the imprints and cut the cords. So the law of attraction and frequency is like gravity, like radio waves. It's not moral, it's not emotional. It doesn't care what is fair, unfair, or what should happen, but... It's just what is. Nolan says, I'm happy to make a shitload of more money, tax the road. Exactly, Nolan. And the truth is, you can just say, the more money I make, less tax I pay. And one thing I say is, the more money I make and the more that I'm serving the planet. Because there is also a law that every culture, pretty much um, Western culture, that churches or spiritual teachers have been tax exempt. And that goes back to the whole um, patterning that was like, when you're helping the planet, now many churches aren't so much these days, but when they were, that when you're helping the planet and doing a higher spiritual work and not basically um, doing this to your own personal gain, then you get the right to be tax free. So the whole point is you need to be, you need, that, that's why, yeah, Christine Norby says, move yourself out from being under the hologram. Exactly, Christine. If you work for, say, a government agency with a job, then of course you're under the hologram. Yeah, you know, you're limited to it, or certainly you're making it very hard for yourself. They've even discovered the pyramids, for example, and this is something that in Russia, and I've done, a, I do a whole webinar on pyramids where I've taught people how literally that people have been able to heal themselves through pyramids. I healed myself from food poisoning by projecting a pyramid into my gallbladder. I stopped hair loss by literally projecting a pyramid. They've done experiments where they've actually built pyramids like um, under the same measurements of the Giza pyramid that was so profound in perfection that many believe it was done by ETs. But the Giza pyramid, the Great Pyramid, they found that when they built one with very similar proportions to it and they put plants under it who died, those plants resurrect. In other words, these plants start getting life again. I found that when I imagine pyramids over the room, like right now, for example, I imagine a pyramid over everyone in this webinar a crystalline pyramid after the measurements of the Great Pyramid. And I have people openly feeling those pyramids. And I have a friend, Ed Stratcher, who had severely inflamed prostate, and he literally healed it just by imagining a pyramid over it. So I don't know if any of you have done this kind of stuff. So, But if you've experienced pyramids, but this is another one, the power of manifestations in these higher consciousness quantum realms. There was even a remote viewing experiment done where what they were doing was they were actually running a US government experiment. And this is what I use, by the way, to read investment, forex markets and sports games. 
are different to unseen target using extrasensory perception or sensing of mind. These procedures were originally developed in laboratories funded by the US military and intelligence services and used for spying. The scientific understanding of the RV process has advanced significantly and RVs now accept the technology. So governments have used this to even get intel on spying, on weapons, weapons technology in Iraq, everything. And they found this generally very, very accurate. Christine says, I'm going to do this on my gums. Um, well, Christine, I did this on my teeth. I was having a lot of teeth problems at one stage. I did this stuff on my teeth. And literally, I, my, my teeth, I, I manifested an amazing dentist. My teeth, uh, I don't get tooth pain anymore at all. I even had a dentist say to me, it doesn't make sense. He said, the way your jaw is structured right now, he said, you should be in a lot of pain and having headaches, but you're not. And I said, that's because I don't project that into my hologram. And I create pyramids. And then he did some work to reckon to help me actually use plates and other things to improve it. There was a dentist called Willard Price, by the way, who was a psychic dentist. And he used to literally fix people, put fillings into people psychically. You can read about him online, Willard Price, where he would actually go and project energetically into people's gums and grow teeth back. Now, that's something that I'm looking into myself and stem cells and bringing the energy of stem cells into me. That's one of my newest things to look into because I'm missing one of my teeth. And yeah, I'm growing, growing the gums back. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking at doing, Christine. So, very interesting stuff. Oh, Willard Fuller, is it? Sorry, Christine, yeah, I thought it was Willard Price. Yeah, Willard Fuller. Um, Price was a different one. That's right, he was to do with the bicarb soda. So, Willard Fuller. So, even tarot cards, all that, that's just projecting the unconscious. I've actually done incredibly accurate tarot card readings and I've taught I Ching readings to people on how to actually use higher level consciousness stuff. So I started a new year with a tarot card reading on all my family members and they're all blown away. Sammy particularly was stunned because I actually told her some problems that the tarot card showed that were coming up in her life. The last three days, she's literally exactly what the card showed have just hit her like a flood. And it's been quite profound and stuff has come up around her but she wasn't even aware of and the tarot cards reveal all of this so this realm works quite profoundly great consciousness teacher neville goddard the only condition required is that you believe that your prayers are already answered realized your prayers must be answered once you do that so christine and those who were on our webinar last night, for example, I know some people experienced some profound healings and shifts, and that was because we were teaching that. You just believe that your prayers are realized, and they're done. So if you realize today, as we do the manifestation, that whatever it is, because we will be doing a manifestation in the next five, five minutes or so, whatever it is, and so we'll be finished by 11 o'clock or 2 o'clock, just so you know. Um, it is going to go until then. But basically... If you believe that you've already received, so let's say your manifestation is that you will make $20,000 in the next month or $100,000 in the next three weeks or that you will clear a dirt in the next two months. If you believe it's already been done, then it is done. So I use seven steps to manifestation. Um, there's different ways you can look at it, but I break it down to five, seven, but in a nutshell, we create and formulate the manifestation. And two, we ensure you're in a brain state conducive to manifestation actualizing. And I'll explain more about that shortly. Command it, and we use codes to help focus the mind. Then we do a clearing, using clearing any, any blocks around the manifestation, subconscious blocks. You take some immediate action, so you take a practical, physical 3D action, because you can't manifest just by, by hoping. Then you let go and let God. In other words, you then stop thinking about it and move on. And then you watch for little clues that start to happen. I can remember doing one for a manifestation for 100K and for basically 100K in the next three weeks. And I did this, I remember a little while, a few years ago when I first was learning this, I did a manifestation to make 100K in the next three weeks. And because I, I had an opportunity to win a competition. And... I suddenly, and all as soon as I did this, I straight away was told, because I was only going to be doing one webinar, I was told do four webinars and do on these four topics. I just got it, it just came to me. And 
I just did four webinars, and what was amazing was the one which I didn't think would do well, did really well, the ones I thought would kill it didn't do quite so well, but I made 100 grand in three weeks. So the point is, you can do this. So some examples here. One of my favorite and best clients, Charlotte, a real action taker, like many great women who I've worked with, she went from being broke and 250 grand in tax debt to getting rid of tax debt, getting rid of her one of her restaurants and starting to make good money with only one of her restaurants, the one making money, and the gym. And she was always amazed. She started doing manifestation pretty much every day and she just kept telling me, like, wow, like the, her health got better, her money improved. Within about nine months, she was making like 10 to 15,000 per week cash flow coming into her business from nowhere near that. This is the lady who received the back um, healing back in um, November, or sorry, back in August last year in our last course. So you'll see here she tried everything. I haven't given her name only because she's just um, involved still in some other action where they, where they can't actually, this kind of stuff can cause more problems than it actually apparently questions or whatever else there. So basically, but yes, this is the lady who received it in our last course. Those who were in our last course would actually remember when it happened and who it was. So she, she also has received financial miracles as a result of it, everything. Helen also, she's um, actually on this webinar today, so she's great that she's actually experienced some great health. So um, yes, yeah, so I asked Helen permission to, show, to share this, but Helen basically, um, was explaining here how she could have a gallbladder removed, she couldn't process any kind of fats or alcohol, and she's able to have some wine and have some mouthfuls with no burning sensation. A classic example, and by the way, I've done the same thing, Helen. I, I started changing my consciousness around eating chocolate and other stuff, and you know, eating healthy chocolate, mind you, but now I'm eating the foods I love eating. So, as I said here, she would have to have her gallbladder removed, and now she's been able to avoid getting her gallbladder removed. So, Adrian here um, wrote this, and basically how he instantly increased and put some money into his trading account by doing this in our last one. And Adrian was great, by the way. I had a lot of time for him because he basically, um, he was someone who when he first came to the course had a little bit of a negative attitude about him, but he took action about it and really listened to what I said. And often I find men tend to fight you with ego, but you know, what I loved about this guy was he just took action and really did something about it and he's just persistent. And one of the things I've said yesterday in one of my webinars to people, that showing up is more important than growing up. In other words, you, anyone can have a great miracle manifestation but to continue to make it a pattern of your life, it's showing up. And you know, and generally the people I'm showing you these testimonials here are people who I'd regard as people who show up. You know, whereas there's people who just keep seeing these things happen and keep doing things. So they keep taking action. Connor is my personal trainer. I love this guy. You know, this guy when I first worked with him was making virtually no money at all, had lots of debt and really struggling. He just, I, and I, I just told him about what I was doing and said straight out to him. I said, well, you're going to be a personal trainer for years making no money the way you're living the life and the way you talk about money. And he just did everything. I, I, he joined my mastermind. He basically was involved for a whole year laying manifestation. He now runs his own business. He's on the way to making $300,000 per annum. Um, he's well over $100,000 now. It's growing and growing and growing. He, he couldn't even sell. He reckoned he was a terrible salesperson. He's become really good at sales now. And yeah, he's just absolutely prospering in everything that he's doing. Mike was his boss. Mike did the same thing. Um, being able to manifest a lot more, was able to manifest, um, he's now manifested a whole new line of work and business, but he's absolutely loving doing exactly what's been taught here. He makes extra income, by the way, from viewing on sports games. So that's part of his extra income and also paying back around at the casino. He even uses um, energy reading and manifestation to make money at the casino. So he's doing stuff, so doing that. Christine Evans, I put, you know, she's on this webinar today. So Christine actually um, came and heard, heard at, um, one of my experiences I had back in May when I had an encounter with the one back in May. And many of you who've been here now know that experience where basically I was living my life and by earlier last year, I'd really lost a lot of my purpose. I was making good money, but 
by April, I was really quite ready to leave the planet. And I had this group of nine beings turn up and give me an absolute roasting. Um, and to say it was a shock was an understatement. I, I certainly didn't expect to have nine beings turn up and turn up and visit me. And I'm sure many of you would feel the same. And those of you who know me for tax know I'm a pretty logical kind of a guy. So, um, when believe in me when I say that happened, happened. And Christine heard me say this and she just felt her body filled with light and knew she had to do something about it. So the point was they told me about the planet was basically heading for a lot of problems. They even started telling me things that would happen. Since that time, I've continued to have masters appear to me and explain to me what's coming and explain to me that there's, um, and I've even everything from the French Revolution to um, which happened recently in France, the yellow vest to disasters across the East Coast, all of which I actually was shown in a lot of these encounters. So Christine's been coming along and she's been basically getting more in her purpose, getting more zest for life. And of course, when I first met Christine, and Christine won't mind me saying this, I liked her, but I'm thinking, wow, this, you know, this lady's almost really depressed. She had a very, her energy was really low. Now, of course, I'd say anything but that. She's full of life, full of vibrancy, you know, full of zest. So, yeah, Natasha was amazing feeling their presence on the webinar. Yeah, Natasha really felt it too. So, Elijah was another one who basically experienced, um, he was one of the greatest clients that I've ever had, you know, worked with me. I mean, he literally took everything I said and he, he increased his income tenfold, literally in six months. Tenfold, so an amazing guy. So this is the result of me doing a manifestation on my tax audit, as you can see here. And the whole thing was basically, and this was when I had numerous mistakes too, mind you. So now let's go ahead and create a manifestation. So what I want, now what you need to start doing is start writing out what you'd like to manifest. One thing, like a health, like healing your health, um, an amount of money, something new in your work, a new monthly income, whatever it is, okay? And what you need to do is just manage, write it out really clearly, like, and make sure it's specific, like $10,000 a month by 31st of January, or $10,000 in my bank account by um, 18th of January, or whatever it is, or um, $10,000 a month regular income, or $100,000 a month regular income by 31st of March, or say I'm completely healed of my um, back complaint or whatever else and by, by this date or whatever else. And one thing I'll quickly share, while you're just thinking about your manifestation writing it down, there's four major brain states, okay? Most of the time we're in the beta, which is where our mind is working really fast. To be able to manifest and access the unconscious and clear things, ideally you should be in a theta, but at the very least you must be in an alpha state. An alpha is that state where you're daydreaming, where you're kind of zoned out and not thinking. Theta is when you're actually half asleep, half awake. Delta is when you are asleep, by the way. So we're going to be doing that by using a code, using some breathing to take you into a deep state. And then after that, um, we're going to go through and do the manifestation. So like I mentioned that the subconscious doesn't know the difference between the truth and what is not real. Um, so. That's why it's really important that you speak of the manifestation as if it's real. So like, you know, I am now in perfect health from my, in my lower back, or my lower back feels amazing right now, or my upper back feels incredible. I, I know it's completely healed. I love every minute of it. Or my gallbladder is in the best state it's ever been. In. I am noticing the difference. I'm completely healed. Something like that and keep it simple and keep it obvious. Or I am making $10,000 a month. Um, or 20,000 a month. And you can brainwash yourself in all big voice just by programming yourself into it. So we're going to do a manifestation and then go through and program it into all of your chakras. And once you've done the manifestation, then what we're going to do is, um, is, is we'll go through and run through the offer. We'll take questions and then we'll finish by running through the offer. So what you've got to do is write up the manifestation like this. Or don't, you write it out, but that's how I'm going to be commanding it for you, by the way. So you write it out, and then I'll be commanding it. So, for example, I'll be saying, it is commanded by the laws of the gold and liquid realm and the chemical powers in this example that the Tribeca code be used to manifest, say, $5,000 by Friday, 22nd of February, 2019, or by, even by end of this week. 
I had someone basically who'd never made more than about a thousand dollars in their life at a time, a single mother for three thousand dollars by the next by within seven days, and she messaged me within three days. She'd been given three thousand dollars. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that, and then we're going to use this Tribeca code. So what I want you to do, I'm going to give you a minute to write down your manifestations. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and do it. So I'll give you a minute now and leave you just for one minute. Okay, so has everyone got their manifestations written down? Excellent. Okay, so what you're going to do is stare at this Tribeca code and I'm going to make the command. So what we're going to do is you're going to just follow through what I lead you into now. So you're breathing in through your nose for four counts, hold for four counts, and breathe out through the mouth for eight counts. So breathe in through the nose for four. Hold. And breathe out for eight counts. So you're breathing in your nose for four. Hold. And out for eight counts. And as you're breathing, breathe in the Tribeca code into your, basically into your third eye. And just notice that you're starting to get more and more deeper. Some of you would notice that the Tribeca code is even starting to become a little bit blurred as you're staring at the code now. And just imagine that right in the center of your code where that fish symbol is, that instead your manifestation is in there. So if it's 10K, for example, you see a 10K a month, just 10K plus. If it's a health one, you might just see the word H for health. If it's lower back, LB, just whatever you, whatever's going to help you see that manifestation.
And now just imagine this code replicating through all your chakras with a manifestation programmed into you. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and chemical powers and by the power in the name of, of Christ, of Jesus Christ, that this code be used to manifest in each and every person exactly the thing that they've manifested now. Aham Brahmasmi Elijah Tef Om Kriya Bhavaji Nama Om I am this I am Ta Asia in Tadoi. And now, just imagine it, the energy is really moving to program this manifestation energy and you'll be feeling it going through your hologram now. Now, just to program this into your etheric realm, I just want you now just to breathe in this Tribeca code again, just see this there with your manifestation, and as you breathe in, as you breathe out, breathe it down to the centre of the earth. And as you breathe it in, breathe it all the way up to 36 inches above your head. And hold it there so you can see it there. Hold it there. And as you breathe out, in, breathe, move it to your heart. And as you see the Tribeca code there, and just keep focus on it in your heart by your intention, Notice that it's starting to, to merge into one circle. And if, both, and if you can't see that happening, just by your intention, let it be so. And the three circles coming to one is basically past, present, and future merging into the now. So it's all in the now and all taking place. And then as you breathe in, just hold it there. And as you breathe out, breathe it to six inches below your feet. And now repeat after me. Aham Brahmasmi. Elijah Tef. Om Kriya. Babaji Nom. Ta Asia in Tadoi. I am this I am. And now, what we're going to do is clear any blockages that you may be experiencing to this manifestation. So what I decided to do is just, those of you who know how to do this, who, you, you can tune into this. So what you can do is take your left hand and rest your left hand on, on your, basically, or your left wrist on your leg. So your left hand is there, not touching anything, but fingers pointing out. And when I ask, are there any blockages to this manifestation, notice if your hand starts tingling and you're getting energy moving. And if it's tingling and energy moving, it means you've got blockages to this. Just type a Y in the text chat if you're having that. Yep, okay, so you're getting quite a lot of yeses, so that means that there's a blockage. So now what we're gonna do is just keep yourself focused on this Tribeca code, it is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and the chemical powers that the Tribeca code is used to clear all blockages in each and every person to achieving and accomplishing this manifestation on all levels and all dimensions, all incarnations and in all realities now. Aham Brahmas Me Ta Asia In Tadoi. And as you're doing that, to help speed this up, just imagine a violet flame or violet energy, similar to the color that you see on the far left circle, coming into your, from the top of your head, right through you, like a big pink cloud of energy or violet flame, going right through all of your layers, right through all of your chakras, through your whole central vertical channel of your body. See it also spreading out and really covering you right through all of your ferric realms. 
but especially going right through your central vertical channel, right through you, all the way down to your root chakra. And you'll be noticing that your hand is starting to go quiet. Okay, so take a sip of water if you've got one. And what you also need to do now is you need to take a practical action step. So every one of you needs to do something to accomplish it. So, and whatever the first thing that comes to your mind or sense, write it down. And it could be like if it's money, it might be to go and look for another job. It could be to, if you're in a business, to go and offer a new thing or to go and do a promotion. It could be that if you're doing betting or investing or trading, that you go and place a trade or you do something or go and watch a video. In my case, the other day, I did a manifestation to improve my sports betting results. I instantly got a sense to connect with one of my old mentors and go back up to one of their videos and do their activation that I did with them six months ago. And Charles here, some of you know, and as soon as I did that, it just cleared. And I straight away, I felt more clarity in my remote viewing. So just write down whatever it is. If it's a health matter, you may, if it's a lower back, it could just be to go away and see a doctor or something, or not a doctor, but you might get a sense to go and do some research or see someone, or go and get regular massage or something like that. Or, you know, if it's a lower back, what I, what I would be doing is saying, yep, I know that I'm already healed, so start doing something to help that, like massaging or getting regular massage, especially if you're sitting all day in a chair in your job or in your business, you certainly need to be doing that anyway, or doing a regular exercise program. So I trust you've all got that. Any questions, everyone, before we go ahead and make a, um, yeah, so right in there, you know, so, it's, yeah, yeah, people are writing the text chat, what is it? It's great. So, yeah, buy this particular course from Christine Norby. I agree. Natasha, to invest the few bits of money that you have? No, nah, that's good, Natasha. I agree. So, what you do is say that I've made a decision that you're going to invest this money, but then ask that you, your higher self will bring you the investment. And it's interesting that next week, by the way, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, before I even called, you answered me. In other words, that before you even ask this request, you've already been answered in your prayer or your manifestation. And just to, just so you know, um, Natasha, I'm going to be speaking next week on investments in the live event you're going to be at. We're going to be doing an actual day about teaching and some of the market knowledge and how to choose them. So there you go. <laughs> you've already had your prayer answered, so you'll be able to watch it and get a bit of an idea as to what's there and what will feel right for you and what will resonate with you. Because I'm, we're not going to be promoting investments. We'll just be teaching... Um, the different options you've got. Brett, send in my tax return. Yep, that's great. Um, yeah, perfect. So some kind of action is really good. Anyone else got anything to share which they're getting? Or any questions that you've got? And then we're going to go through and I'll offer you the course or show you what we're going to be doing. Rochelle, my computer is going to die and waste my house. No way to charge it. <laughs> yeah, I understand that can be very annoying, can't it? No, matter. you can always, um, I can talk to you afterwards if it happens to you. So, If you're on the phone, you can always join through the phone as well. Yeah, place a trade someone else got. Get, um, Jennifer, ask for more clarity. Well, yeah, it depends on who you're asking. You know, you do do a physical action. So it can even be something like, I remember when I put a manifestation to get myself a rent-free house, or oh, sorry, get myself a house without, there was a private rental without a real estate agent in a particular area years ago, I couldn't actually find anywhere that offered private rentals. So I started going to real estate agents just to get moving. And then on the first house I was actually looking at, the guy over the road came out and asked me if I'd like to rent his house. It was a private rental. Someone wrote, my boss just interrupted me, clearing the blockages. Yep, Adrian, trade more assertively. Yeah, I agree, Adrian. That's, 
I funny you get that message. I've got the exact same message with my sports betting was to trade with more aggression and more confidence. And I did, and I was shitting myself, but I noticed the difference straight away. So, yes, it's made a difference since I've done that myself. So, okay, so in terms of what's next now, so let's just run through what the course is going to be. So this is really releasing the miracle of manifestation into your life, and it's basically going to be a good nine classes, this one, because I find that we need to do a fair bit in this one to really get the results, because this is where we'll be covering it in, in great, great depth for you. So this is if you expect, if you're desiring to get you know, financial abundance, if you're desiring um, basically clearing blockages, experiencing a health miracle, anything of that kind. So this is where... This is really teaching you how to make miracles a part of your life. So rather than just coming to a one-off webinar, kind of looking outside yourself to get miracles, you start to be able to create manifestation as a life hologram. Something which, like I said, I've invested probably half a million dollars in the last five years in learning everything from spiritual clearings to manifestation to spiritual growth, um, karma clearing and, you know, the higher level esoteric stuff and how to grow webinars and all kinds of stuff. So this one is really you getting the best of what I've taught, been taught by some of the best masters in the world, including a spiritual master who personally learnt with Frank Kern, got on very well with him um, in terms of webinars. He'd learnt, we'd worked with Bubba G Direct on Manifestation, who'd actually appeared to him um, in his room and talked to him over a number of days. So, like, and I can honestly say the testimonial in this one in my, that we did in June was better than anyone else we'd been to. So... Before I do this, I don't know if Vina is willing to quickly share um, while she's here. If she is, just type in the text chat if you're still here, Vina, if you're willing to quickly take the mic and just share. Well, I couldn't even do, Vina, and I'll put you on towards the end of it. Um, and basically, this is, uh, we understand for people, this one costs a bit more only because there's a lot of, this, this, this one's pretty intensive. It's going to involve a little bit of personal help as well. So this one's a little bit of a bigger investment, but believe you me, it actually does it, in terms of getting the results, it, it will get you the results, this one. And this one, we give a pretty strong guarantee on this one, only because we know that we pretty much the last course, everyone was reporting miraculous results. And we had people like, yeah, when I did my manifest training, let's just say I paid a lot more than this and I borrowed to do it to get to basically when I first was starting out years ago. So what you get is nine minimum 90 minute transformation. So it's around 90 minutes um, on average. So probably somewhere around 70. Generally it goes 90 minutes and sometimes a bit longer. My rule is those of you who come to my webinars know we'll go for as long as we need to to get the results. So sometimes we go longer, but no one complains if we're getting the results. And like I said, we'll do what we need to to get you the results. Unlimited access to the recordings of each session, and like I said, it's basically really getting all of this stuff um, for a relatively low cost compared to what it actually costs me to get this same knowledge. And it costs me, like I said, well over $500,000 in various spiritual teachers to learn this and, and from life lessons and things like that. So what it, what it will give you in terms of benefits, definitely, like I said last webinar, financial miracles. People learning how to read energy and master your mind. I've actually had people who started to use it since to get better trading results and manifest it. I still to this day use manifestation, this stuff which I'm teaching you here in my own investing, in my own trading and things like that. Ha, Vina's on the call of the lead right now. Um, manifest health and the relationships of your dreams. Uh, manifest more poly decisions and opportunities in your business to make more money. Start attracting investments which make money and run by honest people and repel bad investment opportunities or sense when to get out of investments quickly. Like I said, I've used this to get shown things and when I need to be getting out of things pretty quick smart. So, becoming immune to scammers and tax audits. Like I said, once I started applying this, the difference it's made for me in terms of tax audits, governments and things like that. Help have your wealth energy protected from lawsuits, government investigations, neutralizing speeding fines. So yeah, all that. That's been basically all the stuff which I've managed to get myself and I've basically managed to help others with. Clear blockages and negative energies and entities. It even helps you, there's a little bit around clearing curses, hexes and spells, investments and self-sabotage, negative associations of tax and governments which hold you back. 
energetic blockages or beliefs around health and relationships, keeping you sick or deeply unhappy or out of alignment with your path, and creating a shield around your wealth. So in terms of what we're covering, the first five weeks is pretty full on, to be honest, like energy reading, and then we're going to be teaching about the laws of manifestation around business, investments, tax, regulatory, to understand why you've created your past experiences and how to master your mind and brain to take control of creating what you truly want in the future. So weeks two to five, we do a lot around science. So this covers a lot, a mixture of science, and this teaches one of my favorite teachings, the water into wine, that I've mentioned some of you before. That's basically where I go through Joseph Murphy's teachings as well as what Christ taught on the how he turned water into wine and how you and how to basically use manifestation and systematic process to consistently get the results that you desire. We then also look at advanced energy reading in this one as well, which is not only important in manifestation, but even where this is a kind of pre precursor to things like remote viewing, trading, investing, sports betting and things like that and being able to actually um, go ahead and look at this. So sports betting and casino or investing or trading or anything like that and how to get answers in the wisdom of the higher mind and get more in tune. Very present on this one. We do readings on your life. Week seven is, of course, um, energetic tax, asset protection and things like that um, in terms of how to create negative imprint, how to clear negative imprints and blockages around regulators, taxes, lawsuits, and create a shield for the future. Um, this, by the way, is what I've used incredibly successfully to get rid of speeding fines. I got rid of two tax orders for myself dealing with this. I've got rid of them for people doing this. I've managed to block all kinds, I've managed to sort out a major legal practice board investigation that was going pretty badly by doing this and energetically clearing it. And literally the next, next week I had a they changed the investigator and everything changed and the guy was a friend of my sister. We do a full direct clearing of imprints, negative um, entities and blocks around chakras. So this is really about the government, tax minimization, asset protection, but moving it into the esoteric. Because my experience is I've had clients who've done everything right with their structuring, but at the end of the day, because their energy field is a mess, they end up attracting lawsuits, regulators, all kinds of financial problems in their life. In fact, what of, in fact, in his book, The Religion of Tomorrow, Ken Wilber says the future of, of, of medicine and of this kind of work is a ferric work. Because he said, many people have got sicknesses and financial disasters pending, but don't even know about because they're in your ferric layers ready to come into their physical. And that's why some of you have had problems with sickness which seem to go away and they come back. They seem to go away and come back. Financial problems that seem to go away and come back. And that's because the issue is not the physical or even in the mental realm, it's in the etheric realm. Any of you know what I mean? If any of you consistently, you seem to get rid of a problem and it comes back. You get rid of it and it comes back financially, um, physically, all that kind of stuff. Any of you experience any of that kind of stuff? Yep. Um, someone's asked, can we come to your premises? We live in Perth rather than Webinar. No, this course is all done online. We do run a live event, which we're doing next week in Albany, but no, we don't actually, we, people, this is all done by webinar, so no, I don't let people come to my house when I'm, when I'm doing it, so. And then, of course, in week eight, now, and then in week nine, so week eight, we do the investment and building residual income and money, so here we specifically, Clear, do stuff around manifesting money and clearing things around money. So this is about making manifestations for the new year or rather for yourself, for your money and for basically for this year and going into the future. So this one we do that and we're clear. This one often goes way longer than 90 minutes. So expect a good two hours on this one, by the way. This one we do a lot of work to really help people get some fast results pretty quickly. And then we do a review and practical application a couple of weeks after the program is completed on how to live this in your daily life. Start date is 22nd of January 2019. That'll be the first day, which is going to be on a... And we've chosen that day specifically. It's a great date numerology-wise, the 22nd, the 2 and the 2 and the 1. So it's a really, really good day, and then it adds up to an 8. So when you add all those numbers up. So I learned from one of the best esoteric teachers around wealth, who's a very rich woman, who used to do all this kind of stuff and she always would, would do this, pick numbers. 
So we've chosen this date to start it because this is a great day and of course Australia 8 p.m. so eight. Number of places, we're looking to keep it around 20 people, um, somewhere around that. So ideally I like to keep it around that to keep it a little bit more personalised and you'll see why anyway. This one because we are going to be giving a little bit of personal help on this one. Unlike our other courses, it'll be a little bit more like that. So because of that and to give the, a little bit of the one-on-one -on -one to help people get some results, this one we're limiting the places. So nine-week transformation, gain abundance, Clear blockages, experience a financial health miracle, much more, depending on what's for you. So for you, if you're open-minded, very simple. You know you need a financial miracle of some kind. That's really obvious to you. You're fed up with making bad decisions and you're willing to try anything to solve your situations and clear your blockages and transform your life to make more money and be healthier. You're an action taker. You're teachable and humble. And this is really important because I'll be frank with you. This is not a one-way course. I... We will invest heavily in you, we'll teach you the stuff, but you have to follow through and do this. I, I, in fact, I, I'm actually kinder to my clients than, my, than many of my mentors were around me. And some of you who work with, say, Ed know what I'm talking about, and even other ones I've had. You know, they were great mentors, and I honour them highly, but yes, they didn't have much tolerance when I basically started saying, well, why, why isn't this working for me? So I'm actually kinder with clients. I generally do look to give clients a bit of guidance because I realise people need explanation at times, and and help them. But basically, um, one of the things to realize is this is absolutely you taking action as well as me. And those of you, who especially who do business or do stuff like that, know what I mean. I mean, your business works when, because you put effort into it and you, you work on it. And in well, some cases, you're already successful and you're not afraid to invest in yourself group to, to grow, to continue to improve and evolve, and we'll do the work for quiet. And that is critical. An action taking, teachable and humble mind, following through what you start and knowing the importance of an open mind. Who this is not for? Closed minded people are not open to higher realms and transforming their situations. So think they know it all, unteachable. And in all honesty, if you think you know it all, then you really don't need to do a course. It's that simple. Um, and the other one, and look, unfortunately, these people do slip through our cracks despite every attempt to avoid it. People who just are absolutely unwilling to take action and you find excuses to justify their lack of result and they absolutely blame others for their, um, for basically their poor choices. Um, so basically, you've got to follow through, you've got to attend classes and in all honesty, we can certainly help shift you to the next level but we can't, um, you know, massively basically make things disappear for you you know we, we can't do that i mean we generally we find that we do the work and if your faith is open to it and you put the work in and you've got the open heart and intention that's where we see the miracle and that's what we found in our last course we had people reporting profound results and generally we found the more people just let go and put the work in the more they seem to experience the miracles especially those that's letting go and trusting now the reason with this course, this is absolutely, I know what um, Toby Alexander, who I basically learnt this with initially, was charging. And in fact, 4997 was a US dollar, was what he charged. So 4997 US for his manifestation training. In my case, I was paying five grand US a month with him for basically um, two and a half years. And basically to learn from him, mentor and work, work highly with him. So this was included as part of it. But... I know for a fact, and um, when he did the manifestation course and it was five grand US or 4997, he said to me I could come for free because I was paying that. So, but basically that's what you'd expect to invest in this, no problem. I know others who run these courses have charged quite a bit more. So what we're doing today is, it's eight, so if you pay up front, it's obviously going to be less. And, it's, and basically it's just, it's 1888.80. I do that deliberately because again, the triple eights, um, attracts abundance and basically it adds up to a six. So 1888.80 or $55.55 and like I said, believe you me, this one, this, this course gets, has got the results for clients and we are going to give a money back guarantee as well that you'll see so you can quickly work out if it's going to work for you or not. So remember what you get. You get those 90 minute classes or longer, unlimited access to recordings, and believe you me, like I said, compared to what I paid significantly less. 
So money back guarantee is very simple. This one, unlike the others where it's one class, there's the first two classes you can come to. And if you decide after it that it isn't for you in the unlikely event, let us know before the third class and we'll issue a prompt and courteous 100% refund. So it's very simple. This gives you a very simple opportunity to either to basically to do this. And if after two classes you're like, you know what, I'm not sure it's going to work, you just pull out and you'll get it back. And occasionally we do, do people take this up, but it's very rare. So if you commit today, and I'm a big believer in rewarding prompt action takers, that's exactly how mentors have worked with me in the past. And I just learned people who take prompt action, I'd rather a small number of prompt action takers because I know that I can get results of you. And in all honesty, if I can get five people and, and it's all but sign up for this course and you take prompt action and you all get amazing results, well, believe you me, we'll be working together for a long time to come. And on top of that, the testimonials I'll, I'll, I will get will be profound, you know. So we'd ra I'd rather get five people who take action and who are serious than get, say, 25 people who really aren't going to do anything of what they learn. And so you get a personalized session because basically I found that you get that. So, and what we're also going to do in this particular course to really help people get results is make yourself reasonably available on chat or email. William especially, um, he's really keen to help out. Many of you know he's been doing many webinars with me and being absolutely amazing. This is my 17-year-old son who's been doing profound healings and actually seeing energy so clearly it blows my mind. Like, to be honest with you, I mean, I, I can see energy and I see it kind of in, in kind of little bits of like shapes and shadows and occasionally clearly. William sees it clearly most of the time. So, and he loves helping people. Like, if anything, my only issue with him is I've been teaching him not to spend too much time because sometimes he's getting long sessions of helping clients to really get results of them. And I say to him, look, you know, you've got to kind of limit your time a bit. But point is, he'll be keen to help you. So you'll get one personalized session with myself or William at your choice to help you manifest your goals. And on top of that, we'll make ourselves available in chats, especially with William, just if you've got queries or questions or whatever else. You'll get access to recordings on living your life purpose and also on tax investment regulatory clearing. So we've done some past courses. So those of you who really at the same time are keen to start living your life purpose, we do have a course that we did previously, which really helped people. And because we're not doing a new one for quite a little while yet, you can get access to these to get started, to be side by side with your manifestation. So this is the payment link. I'll just quickly um, take you to the, the link and so you can see it yourself. And you'll see it here. So what you just got to do is choose your option, whether it's that one or that one, 40 payment. Interested in basically who's keen to do this? No, it's not 7,550. Yep, great. Yep, I'm in. Natasha, fantastic. Thank you. I know Christine Evans is in. Yep, you're already in. Um, who else is in? Or what questions do you have on this one? Like I said, you really don't have anything to lose on this one. You can pull out any time, basically, after you've done two classes. And in all honesty, like I said, we are, the, the results that people are getting are, are going on this one. Um, you will get the money back many times over on this one. Excellent, Brett, that's great. Fantastic. Uh, Arman, that Arjun, that's great, fantastic. So that's great. So yep, and like I said, you're beginning a personal one, and look, I'll go one step further. I'm happy also to do a second call with those who commit today right now, because I do like believing in prompt, uh, rewarding prompt action takers. So what I will do is you'll get an initial call, so you'll get a call with William and with myself, only if you do it today, so there you go. So basically, I'll give the one at, one of us will give it at the beginning and one at the end, and you can have your choice. So that way you'll get two ones, one at the beginning to help you set your intentions and one at the end to help you integrate what you've learned. So, Sean, interested by need to um, manifest the money first? Um, well, that's the whole point. Let me, I'll just... Vic can ask, is the WEMP link up? Can you put the link in the chat box? Absolutely, my apologies. I haven't put the link in the chat box. So there's the link in the chat box. So 
Have you all got it in the chat box, everyone? So here's a link. Paul. So sorry about that, everyone. I don't quite know what happened there. I was a got a little bit overexcited. So there's the link there, everyone. There we are. So there's a link. But I put it in the chat box. So has everyone now got that in the chat box? That's really weird. So you can't see it in the chat box, seriously? Yep, it's definitely there. It's in the chat box. And I'm going to have it on here anyway. Can you see it on the screen now? Same people saying they can't see my screen. Are you serious? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, apologies, everyone. That's really bizarre. So it's in the chat box as well. So there's a little chat box thing there, which you can go in. So right there. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Julie says, go to webinar, stop sharing for a bit, so we all lost you. Ah, that explains it. Okay, some questions coming through. Can we access the webinars online? You certainly can as recordings. Yep, all the recordings will be available and you'll be able to keep them indefinitely. So no problem, you can access them, Arjun. Um, Nadine asks, are payments monthly? No, they're weekly, $55.50 per week. Or $55.55 per week. So the choice is Nadine, $55.55 per week or $1888.80 up front. Yeah, look, it's like I said, this is the stuff that we'll be teaching the manifestation system. You may be, one of the things too that even manifestation teachers like Anthony Robbins and others, they've said that any kind of systematic um, manifestation teaching will always get better results for you. But, so any systematic manifestation teaching will get far better results for you than basically doing nothing. So this is the biggest thing it does to do, if nothing else. They've proven in science. Dr. Joe Dispenza, when he runs his workshop on manifestation, he just basically gets people into a deep state and teaches people to set their intentions. and that's basically what we'll be doing, but we'll be giving the science background and then taking you on, on a deep journey. So has everyone got that now? And all having anyone having any problems in terms of signing up? Yep, so the payment plan is monthly. Yep, sure, Janet, no problem. Sounds great. Interested, very keen. Mitch, that sounds really great. Fantastic. Dorothy says, still not showing link. Yeah, you must have a problem with your system, um, Dorothy, because everyone else is um, is seeing it. It's on the screen. So it could be an internet holding up or something else. Need to be under announcements, Christine, saying, yeah, understanding I don't have that thing sort of here, like announcements or whatever. We've got a chat box, which I put it in there. But for whatever reason, it's not actually, um, like I said, I put, it, I put it in the chat box. There's a little bit of a chat box. I put it in there. But for whatever reason, it's not showing up. Yeah, that's great, Mitch. So... Some other questions coming through. Uh, pay, yep, so, what's this one here? So will we, will we be doing actual manifestations and setting goals and intentions? Absolutely we will be, yep, no, of course we will be, yep. Now we'll be setting that and helping you specifically set them 
and manifest. And that's exactly what we were doing for clients previously. And the ones who got the testimonials and who gave those great stories, that's exactly what we were doing. So does the special offer only apply today? Well, yes. Um, that's great, Arjun. Fantastic. Thank you. That's great. Look forward to having you in the course. And same with you, um, Christine and Natasha. That's great. Yep. So, yep. So the, the personalized sessions, like I'm saying, that's for people who commit today to get those two, the extra one. So that one is only for today. We may well be doing a second offer next week. That one, though, won't be giving the access to both the recordings. It'll only be the one of them. And you'll only be getting, you'll only be getting one session. Big believer, and if you say something, you stick to it. So those who take action today will definitely get looked after a bit more. So anyone else? Everyone else having problems with the link or anything like that? Um, no, not US Valerie, that's in Australian dollars. So it's $55, 55 Australian weekly. So it's basically, so that works out probably US dollars, more like around about 150, 160, that one's 70 US dollars monthly, I'd say, Valerie. Christine, yeah, that's not a problem, Christine. Um, I'll send you the BSB and account number separately. So no problem. So yeah, pay today, but it's no problem. Jack, yes, you will get a receipt or confirmation email following the payment you've made. No problem at all. So, yep, no problem there. Anna, that's great. Yep. Oh, excellent, Anna. Fantastic. Do you need the um Oh wonderful, Anna. That's really that's really great. Looking forward to seeing you next week actually and really helping you, by the way. Um Great to see the action you're taking. I'm very excited about it. Excellent. So, yet yeah, not a problem. And, oh, Arjun, I'll probably see you in Perth Cafe soon anyway. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> oh, I love that one. I, I like that tactic. Jennifer, I am interested. The money is a challenge um, even to pay first payment. Um, now, you can't pay later. Um, well, you can, but you won't get these, um, what I'm offering today and to do the right thing by everyone else who I've done this with because I'm not into sales tactics. I'm into rewarding action takers. So. In terms of the first payment, if you can get us something today, get us the $55.50, Jennifer, there's no problem. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to do it before you start. What you would just get is you get one rather than two personalized sessions and you get access to one of the courses. That's how we're going to work for people who sign up before. So. So hopefully everyone's seeing the link in the screen now, no problem. Yep, Vicken, is that fine? Are you seeing that quite clearly? Yep, any more questions from anyone? So, yep, there's certainly quite a few signing, definitely doing it, which is great. Like I said, we're really keen to get a nice little number. And we find we find the group around 15, 20 works really well because um that's, so that's a good start because that way we can really get some good results happening and um, get the consciousness of the group working together as well. So that's really great. But not to get it too big, I preferred, like I said, to have some serious people in this one because the group consciousness as a whole basically also helps each other as well. Yep, Nolene is in. That's fantastic, Nolene. Well, that's great. I mean, you're gonna you 
your trading is only going to get better and better and better. They can sign up. That's great, Julie. That's great. No, that's excellent, Christine. Now you're going to absolutely flourish from it. So Jack's having a problem with the audio. Really weird. Okay, well, any more questions before we go? Okay, excellent. Well, thank you, everyone. And those of you who are having audio or link problems or whatever else, you can feel free to email us at um, City Awakening. In terms of those of you who said you don't have the money to do it, well, one thing I do want to say, desire to say to you, I don't have a problem if you're not doing this course because basically it doesn't resonate for you at this time. Like what Mitch said was perfect. Mitch, Mitch gave me a great one where he just said, look, right now he's in another one, and he's already doing a couple of our courses. So I said, yeah, not a problem, Mitch, that's great. But when but saying you have enough money is always the worst excuse. And the reason why is that $55 a week is nothing. That's the kind of money that you that people, but someone who's got no money will be spending on cigarettes or somebody else is spending on something else. So basically, if it's no, if basically money is never the reason. If it's because you've got other commitments right now, or it just isn't resonate for you at this time, it's no problem. We, I, I, I appreciate that for some people, this course will resonate at this time. There'll be some people who it just won't for whatever reason, because it's got to be on the same frequency. But saying that you don't have the money to do it is never a reason. It's just the very reason, by the way, you don't have money is because of that mindset because you always say you can't afford it. So your hologram keeps repeating itself and you keep being in a scratch record. So very important that that is not a reason for you to do this. If the reason that you're not doing it is just doesn't resonate with you at this time, it's totally understandable. It's not going to be for everyone. But if this absolutely, but if you know this resonates with you, then money is never a reason not to do it. Fiona, that's fantastic. That's great. Okay, everyone, well, thanks very much and have an excellent um, rest of the day.